Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the HP Envy M6, and this is the AR model. Um, we're going to be doing uh, a quick, we're going to be doing a screen replacement for this, and also you can see the back cover, how there's some dents there. You can kind of see there's a crack right here. If you look here, it's a little bit crooked. Um, that means we definitely need to replace the back cover as well. So the first thing you want to do, of course, flip it here, and you want to remove the screws. And you want to get to the battery just to pop up to the battery so you don't short anything. So let's do that. So it's pretty easy. It does just come up. Just go with the guitar pick. All right, actually, just put Ooh, this aside. Pull out. There you go. Now you're safe. Um, there's no power connected. So now, of course, you want to put the back cover back on just to protect the bottom. Uh, we have an ESD mat, but it's just to be safer. You know, you don't want to touch any components with anything anyway. So. All right, so just grab a guitar pick, um, just to go around, and just try to get in the middle. Just be careful. I mean, it depends. If I mean, just get in the middle of it, pop it up. There's clips all the way around. Just keep going, keep going. You should be able to click it. It'll give you a little bit of clicks. Come out. Um, we probably get about this far where you can at least see into it now, so that's a good thing. Um, now it looks like the bottom still attaches a little plastic piece, so let's see if we can do something about that. Okay, and for that bottom plastic piece, you kind of want to go, you want to flip it around here and then go, there's little edges you can go to, so you can start here, you can pop it a little bit, and then kind of just work your way across. Nice and easy. Just pop it up. Just to get some space. You can hear some clicks as you go along. First, but. Alright. So let's just put this down here. And now let's bend it back so we can just kind of remove the screen. Alright, just put it down gently. Always gently because there's something that could crack, something that could make a noise. Um, I would lift it up a little bit just so you get a gap so you don't just completely bend the plastic. So just lift, lift up the screen so then you can kind of see underneath, but don't pull it up completely because of course it's still attached to the cable. Okay. So don't put it completely flat. As you can see, this one is, is actually pretty struggling right now. I'm holding it up actually from the base with my hand and just so I can get a little bit of leverage and take this out. And pull the tape with it, and there we go, it comes out, easy. Okay, so this is free, now we're a little bit better here, but we still have this cable. You can see over here, here's this blade cable, there's tape, and then there's tape over the tape. And that came out. Oh, so here, let me show you exactly about the tape, you see there's all, that's all glue, and of course the cable's right there, and the connection, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna go for the webcam first. So usually just an adhesive, a little bit of tape or something underneath. It's pretty easy. It's never always strong adhesive. It's just a little bit just so it holds in place. Um, and you can reuse it. I do sometimes. It depends really how it feels. If you can't feel like you get a good um, spot for it, then, then don't bother using it. But of course there's tape all around here because it's a fun time. Just be very careful because you don't want to tear anything. Especially that cable is a little bit stretched out, huh? Alright, and we can actually go a little bit down. We can thread it a little bit there so we can loosen it up. And there, okay. So let's unthread this one. Looks like it just goes on around the corner. It looks pretty straightforward. So this side's done. Let's go over here now and do it. The same exact thing. Um, I would use the little wedge here because it makes it a little bit easier. This is pretty straightforward for me to get over here. Yeah, this piece is quite a bit stronger than <laughs> the other one. If you need to, you can always put a little bit of heat on the back. That always helps for adhesive. The glue can't stand it eventually, so. Not the heat. Okay. So now this is just one cable, so it looks like we're threading, and we are threading the inside here, so. Just, just try to remember that. Makes it much easier. Alright, so there's four screws. and here's the last one and of course before you totally remove it make sure nothing else is attached 
Always be careful. There could be something. Who knows? There's always traps, you know. So, all right, looks good. This came off pretty nicely. Okay. So you can start. I would probably put at least one or two in on each side. Um, I wouldn't do four on one, four on the other. It's good just to feel a balance and everything. Can't. Sometimes you can put your thumb over the magnet. It helps to put it in. There you go. Easy. Uh, IMAX have that too. They have a little um, magnet go around the screen too. All right, so our cable looks good here. Should we put this in first? Yeah, let's do the let's do the webcam first, just to make sure it sticks and everything. Um, the inside cable was actually the webcam cable, so um, I remembered that, and you definitely want to make sure you remember that because man, even just a little bit. So when you go over here, put the webcam cable on the bottom when you go through the loops, and then it's going to stay on top the whole time. So we're going to do the same thing on the right side. And this, the right side is going to be a little bit easier because it just has one cable. So, just slide pretty smooth. Alright, so once you get all that in, now we could just put the screen back and then it should be good to go. But before that, um, let's make sure everything is... Let's bend it a little bit. Make sure it feels good. Loosen the screws a little bit. Um, then we could tighten them again, so... Okay, so let's tighten each one. This one needs a little bit tightened cable first. Actually, let's just work. Let's put in the display cable first. Looks good. Um, for this one, I do want to hold the bottom because that gave me more leverage last time, so let's do that. So, All right. Um, now, just gently put it back. We're not actually putting it fully together yet. We just want to test it with the charger. Of course, I'm not going to put the battery in, but let's see. All right. Once it's all clamped, of course, now we just go to the bottom. And we're just gonna pretty much replug the battery back in and put it together, and that's it. So, um, yep. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate everything. Um, please leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it, if you found it very helpful. Um, is there any other questions that you have with this laptop in particular, or for any other laptops? Um, how do you feel about doing these screens? Do you, are you comfortable enough? Uh, do you think they put a little bit too much on doing some screens? Um, I do know the threading is a little bit difficult sometimes to put it back, especially if you have bigger fingers, but sometimes you can buy a back cover, of course, that has antennas that makes it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe, too. We have a bunch more content coming, software and hardware alike. But um, yep, thanks, you guys. Have a good one. Thanks a lot.